With some CCD cameras, you can set them so you can see a scene inside or outside, but not both. In this particular sequence, as the bad guy walks into the building, we can't see anything outside, but we can see details inside. Alternatively, we can adjust the iris so that we can see the red car, but we lose all the detail of the color chart and also on the whiteboard on the right side of the screen. With Pixim's high dynamic range technology, you can get the true color of the red car, very accurate color fidelity on the color chart, and see the bad guy quite clearly as he walks into the building. A common high dynamic range scene is a lobby sequence where you have fluorescent lights inside and bright sunny days outside. If you notice the Pixim picture on the right, you'll notice that we can see the true red color of the car. And as the bad guy walks back into the building, we can see his face much more clearly with no dead zones as we're seeing in the CCD high dynamic range camera on the left. In fact, as the bad guy walks into the building on the right, you see his face very clearly. On the left, he almost looks like he's half inverted. And yet another example of how Pixum cameras are superior to CCD-based cameras. Notice the high dynamic range camera on the left. The CCD-based camera inserts image artifacts. We can't see the bad guy's face or the details on the color of the car outside. In the Pixum camera on the right, his face and clothing are very clear, as well as the colors of the cars that are outside the lobby scene. Once again, Pixum cameras are the best high dynamic range cameras that are on the market today. High dynamic range matters in outside settings as well. Notice that in the Pixum camera on the left, you can see the full building behind the gentleman at the bar. And as the camera continues to pan, you'll notice that behind the little girl who appears in the picture now, you can see the people behind her in the pool. A CCD-based camera, like the one on the right, can't pick up all of the details. In this scene with a CCD-based camera, you see the bad guy with a dark sweater, salt and pepper hair, and a white wall. Yet with a Pixum camera, you have no imaging artifacts. It's a blue sweater, you see his black and white hair, and a yellow eggshell colored wall. Side by side, you can see that the Pixum camera gets a truer reproduction than the CCD based camera. One of the challenges of non CCD based cameras has been their performance in low light settings. In this sequence, you see a color chart with one lux of illumination. As we transition to the Pixum based camera, you'll notice that the low light performance is nearly identical with in fact slightly higher color reproduction. Pixum is the first non-CCD technology that can compete with CCDs in this most important area. Bad guys like to drive away in cars. In this sequence, as the driver approaches with the Pixum camera, you can see the detail of the car the driver's face in the car and the cars behind him. With a CCD based camera, the face is dark. You can't even see the detail of the cars behind him well. In this casino scene, the CCD based camera can't tell the colors of the back of the cards because the white balance is having trouble with all the high color contrast in the scene. Yet the Pixum camera shows the blue cards very clearly. And as we do a digital zoom, as we cut into the scene, you'll notice that the gambler has placed a $5 chip below his stack of $500 chips as highlighted by the black circle. The CCD based camera can't pick up the attention to detail. Pixum based cameras have zero blooming and zero smear. You'll notice the picture in the Pixum camera on the right. We can see the bad guy's face and the details of his car and the building behind him. With the CCD based camera on the left, we lose all of the detail in the picture. The purpose of security cameras are pr to protect one's assets, one's company, and one's people. Pixum's cameras take better pictures.